Hey, what's going on? Today, I'm going to go and shoot some photos. I'm going to be shooting both 35 and 120. I'm going to be shooting Kodak 400. And then for 120, I'm going to be shooting some Ektar 100. This Ektar 100 with my Yashica A, which is a newly bought camera of mine. This will actually be the third roll I've shot on this actually so far. So, uh, gonna be kind of new. Fall colors on this thing are gonna be really cool. For my 35 millimeter, I'm shooting on my Canon AT1. We're gonna head out, I'm gonna pack everything up, and we're gonna hit the streets. Let's do it. Woo! Found this little scene right here behind me. Um, I really like the contrast between the red and the green and then the blue sky. Um, these three colors together look really sick and it's uh, at a good golden hour right now and the spot looks perfect. So I'm gonna shoot this one with a nice, uh, with a nice wide aperture. Um, I'm gonna shoot this on 11 with my aperture so I get everything in this shot in focus because I definitely want the building, the dumpster, everything around it all to be in focus. So I'm not really looking for anything to be out of focus in this photo. Wow. So I ended up coming to one of my favorite photo spots actually, and it's over at the SLU campus, um, right outside the city. And I've came here and shot this track before with the view of downtown and the arch and all that behind me, but I've never actually like uh, walked out here to shoot it. This is beautiful right here at Golden Hour. This is perfect time to shoot out here. This is amazing. Um, getting some really good shots the colors of the red in the track going around in comparison with just the background of the city and everything looks so good that I've already shot like four on this and shot a few photos on 35 uh, I've gotten quite a nice little collection going on at this spot in specific so uh, I'm gonna keep moving see what happens see what, uh, what else we could find So it's that time of the evening where it's getting a little dark for me to be shooting my 100 speeds film. And I only have one shot left in this anyways. And I am at this spot at this gas station down the road from where I live actually at the perfect time.
Alright, so it has been a few days now and I've got my photos back from the lab, scanned them all, and uh, right off the bat I just want to say that um, the back door to my Canon opened up in the midst of shooting that roll of uh, Kodak 200 and um, exposed a lot of the photos. So a lot of the photos didn't come out. Luckily I shot a couple on 35 before that happened. So I had some that were, still came out manageable, uh, slight light leaks like around the borders of the photos, but nothing too serious. And thank goodness I was shooting on 120 at the time. So I did have photos from the day that came out. My 120 photos specifically on my Yashica right now. A lot of me can tell, especially in this video, you can see that I have a few photos that were double exposed. It's really easy to double expose shots on that camera because there's nothing to really tell you that you've already shot on this exposure, you've already shot with this on this frame, or you haven't shot on this frame yet. So a lot of the times I could either double expose my shot or I could just wind it past a shot and end up not even shooting a photo in a frame. Other than that, I'm really happy with some of the photos that came out. There you have it. Um, there's your uh, first time coming out with me shooting. Uh, I plan on making tons more of these videos. I really enjoy doing this, especially now wrapping up the video, getting everything done, seeing kind of how it's turning out. So if you've made it this far into the video, and you're still listening to me talk, thank you for watching. Um, as usual, as the kids say, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for lasting through this for me. Thanks for coming along. Thanks for checking out my photos. Down in the description, the link to my big cartel where I put my art up at to sell. Um, new video coming next week. Thanks for sticking around. My name is Chris Dunn. Good seeing you, bud. Bye. <laughs>